All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders he has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today's Mass Intentions for the soul of Manuel de Silva and for various box intentions. Today I am offering this Holy Eucharist also for other staff, students, parents, helpers, administrative staff of our dear school, St. Elias. Normally, we would have had school beginning in this month of June, but because of this pandemic, we are all held back at every level, work, college, university, our parents' jobs, our fields, our farms, and of course, our school. But we miss the sights and sounds of school, of lunch, recess, bells, shouting, punishing in the... Uh, corridors and talk, talk, talk of the duster. All this we are bringing to God's altar that God will bless us, our parents, our teachers, our students and the whole world that is suffering because of this illness and we ask God's blessings to take away this illness and to bring our life to a normal. Let us pause to ask God forgiveness for our sins. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, and to my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Prabhu Daya
Elijah and Elisha set out from Gilgal. Elijah said, Elisha, please stay here. The Lord is only sending me to the Jordan. But he replied, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And they went on together. Fifty of the brotherhood of prophets followed them, halting some distance away as the two of them stood beside the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water. And the water divided to left and right. And the two of them crossed over dry shod. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Make your request. What can I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha answered, Let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Your request is a difficult one, Elijah said. If you see me while I am being taken from you, it shall be as you ask. If not, it will not be so. Now as they walked on, talking as they went, a chariot of fire appeared and horses of fire coming between the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elisha saw it and shouted, My father, my father, Chariot of Israel and its chargers. Then he lost sight of him, and taking hold of his clothes, he tore them in half. He picked up the cloak of Elijah which had fallen, and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the cloak of Elijah and struck the water. Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? He cried. He struck the water and it divided to right and left. And Elisha crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Please repeat. Let, Let your heart take courage. courage. All who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. Our response, Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you saints. He guards his faithful. But the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Our response, Let, Let your Lord heart take courage, all, all who hope in, in the Lord. Please stand for the Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Find a home with you. Through him give thanks to God the Father. Alleluia. According to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good works before men to attract their notice. 
By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right hand is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not pray and imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your father who is in that secret place. And your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put on your head oil and wash your face, so that no one will know that you are fasting except your father, who sees all that is done in secret. And your father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I know that some of you who are participating in this Eucharist are ex-students of St. Elias High School. And you will remember that today's first reading is about our patron, St. Elijah or Elias. And outside the school office, the manager and the headmistress office, we have a huge, beautiful frame which has a description of this reading. A chariot of fire, Elisha there, Elijah there, not seen, going into the clouds with fiery horses. And if you know also, the motto of our school is, God will show the way. Parmeshwar Hame Rasta Dekayenge. In these days, when Sister Philomena, our headmistress, the staff, the management, and all concerned with our school, are working hard with regards to online courses and material and substance, our hearts go out to you, the students and parents, my dear people, because we understand that you are going through difficult times. So many of our children have gone out to their villages because of the pandemic and the difficult situation of work and employment. We don't know about how, how, how or what they are doing there, but our vichar, our prathana is with them that they will be all sahi salamat and Parmeshwar ki dwai say when our school starts, we will all be one as a family. Even now, when the teachers reach out to you through WhatsApp, through Google Meet, etc., please log on, small way, big way, and learn. Our learning never stops, with or without school, with or without university. Because God's world, Nisarga, nature, gives us so many things to learn from, and to be grateful to God. And therefore, as we offer this Eucharist for our school students, teachers, management, and staff, we are praying for the parents and children, particularly those who are ill, those who are poor, those who are suffering, that God's grace will be upon us and give us life. When we look at the Gospel reading from Mark chapter 6, it is a continuation of chapter 5, 6, and 7, where Jesus is giving us a Sermon on the Mount beginning with the Beatitudes and then the description of how that prescription of the Beatitudes can be lived and bear fruit in our life. Jesus is talking today about prayer, fasting and almsgiving. We hear this reading on Ash Wednesday, or the beginning of the season of Tapaskal, of Lent, Paschata Kal. 
And when the church gives us this reading now, it is telling us that prayer, fasting and almsgiving is not only during Lent, but they are the foundational principles of our spirituality right through our life. And again, the basis of all these three is love of God. अगर हमारे जीवन में प्यार होता है और हम परमेश्वर से और औरों से प्यार करते हैं तो God allows us and blesses us to do all this. पश्चता दान देना और प्रार्थना करना ये हमारी हर रोज की बात होती है अगर हमारे दिल में परमेश्वर के बारे में और आम जनता के लोगों के बारे में प्यार और सहानुभूति होती है Gospels are meant to not only give us information but to work out a transformation. Same thing with school education and college education. When we are informed of science, of civics, of EVS, of maths, of geography, of history, of English literature, Hindi literature, Marathi literature, we are given information for what? That we will become better people, that we will transform our life, our learning, our search, and have unche vichar, so that we can be better citizens of our nation, the world, and of God's kingdom. So, the lockdown actually has given us a great opportunity to see who is actually praying, who is actually fasting, and who is actually giving dhan. We are not coming to church for people to see how ah, wo aayi hai, wo aaya hai, prathna kar raha hai. We are not giving community funds, some are giving still to see who has given and who has not given. We are not, uh, uh, what is that thing, arms giving, prayer, fasting. All of us are eating solid at home. Mm. In these days of the lockdown, 84 days, and then we have got to struggle to lose it. That is why I take diet food from Pius. Melanie's husband. So we are trying our best to do this because we love ourselves and God is in us and we love God. Let us ask Jesus to bless all our efforts, our institutions, our parents, our children, our staff and students. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of His holy church. O God, will the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, food and renewal in the sacrament of our spiritual life, grant that this sustenance may not fail us in body and spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. 
And so in company of the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit on them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. In memory of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious clergy and those who are consecrated. Lord, remember those who have died in this COVID virus attack. Bless those who are suffering and on our way to recovery. Bless those who have special intentions, birthdays, anniversaries. Bless our school, our staff, our management, our students and our parents. Bless those who have offered this Eucharist and our very special intentions. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our patron Saint Elias, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. When we have love of God in our hearts, we do everything out of a pure motive that transforms our life. Jesus' strength gives us this power as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive bread. us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. Search me and try me, Master, today. Cleanse me and make me whiter than snow, as in thy presence now. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, Ask and you will receive, Seek and you will find, Knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek and ask for the grace of, Mention your request, Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, If you ask anything of the Father in my name, He will give it to you. Behold, in your name I ask the Father for the grace of... Mention your request. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace of... Mention your request.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place, I place all, all my, my trust, trust in you. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted. Have pity on us miserable sinners and grant us the grace which we ask of you through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, your tender mother and ours. Amen. Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, Lord, which foreshadows the union of faithful in you, we ask that we will pay attention to our patron, St. Elias, as you show us the way through Christ our Lord. Amen. We had two Zoom meetings yesterday, in the morning with our Eucharistic ministers and in the evening with our women's cell. Today we've got a 12 noon Zoom meeting with our senior citizens, Hatte Hatte, and at 7.30 this evening with the Bible cell. So those of you who are on the groups, please tune in. Happy school year to St. Elias students, staff, parents and management. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mass is ended. Love